Hi, do you know how to solve this question, which is appeared in Genco Chemistry 2016? So look at the question. They have given a uh, rate constants of a copper plus two metal ion with the ammonia system. The question says like this, the log of the stepwise stability constant, log of the stepwise stability constants are given. Log K1 value is given, log K2 value is given, log K3 and log K4, four different values were given. They have given log values, not the rate constant values, log K1 value is given first. That means log K1 value means uh, that is the first step between copper and ammonia ion reduction. So the first step, if you write, this is how it looks. So log K1 value is 4.15. K2 value indicates that the second ligand when it is adding to the first step product. That is copper ammonia complex. You will get to two moles of ammonia with copper. This is log 2. I am writing stability constant equations. Like step-by-step -step equations. They have given four rate constants, log K4 values. So I'm writing four equations first. So this is the third mole of ammonia is reacting with power. That value, the expected value is K3. Now this is the fourth mole of ammonia that respected value is K3. Now if you add these equations, okay, if you add all the four equations, when equations were added, what happens? Equilibrium constants are multiplied. When equations were added, equilibrium constants are multiplied. Okay. So this side ammonia, this side ammonia get cancelled. Two moles of ammonia, two moles of ammonia, three, three moles. So what is left? Left side one copper plus four ammonia molecules. So the overall rate equation is this equation. And on the right side, this only left. So this is what it is. So they have not given K1 direct values. They have given log K1. So we have an equation log. Suppose if you have log okay, log A base 10 is equal to B. How you will write this? A is equal to 10 power B. In the same way, if I write log K1 is equal to 4.15, this will be equal to K1 is equal to say base 10, 10 power 4.15. So like this, you can write for K2 also. What is the K2 value? It is 10 power 3.50. What is K3 value? 10 power 2.89. What is this value? K4 will be 10 power 2.1. So now when equations were added, equilibrium constants are multiplied. So this is the overall stability constant or overall formation constant. Okay. So now uh, substitute all the K values in this equation now. So K or overall stability constant, you can write it as KF formation constant or KS stability constant, both are same only. Now, what is the value of K1? It is 10 power 4.15 into K2 is 10 power 3.50 into 10 power K3 value is 2.89. Now 10 power K4 is 10 power how much? 2.13. So now overall stability constant will be 10 power. You have to, when the bases are same, powers must be added. So 4.15 plus 3.50 plus 2.88 plus 2.13. If you sum up all these, you are going to get 12.67, something like this. Okay. So now this can be written as 10 power 12 into 10 power 0 0.67. Can I write like this? Yes. Now, if you know this value, now if you cross check your answers, all of them are in 10 power 12 range only. 10 power 12 range only. This is different. Okay, 126 is given. This is a big value compared to these values. Now, if you observe here, so your value is, it is 0, 10 power 0, 6, 10 power 0 0.67 value you should know. Its value is 4.677 into 10 power 2. So this is your answer. So you may guess up to 10 power 12 values, but there in the 10 power 12, there are three options. So try to calculate this value accurately. Then only you will get the correct answer. So this is how the question was asked previously. So practice more questions 
on the same area so that it will be get benefited. For more analytical chemistry videos, click the link below in the description. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this session.